day five of the HPL PSL T20 and we've got Lahore Kalandars versus Quetta Gladiators who've been unbeaten in the tournament. As you can see, Lahore Kalandas has arrived. They haven't been able to win a single match in the tournament. Their captain, Azhali, would be looking for some form today and hoping to win. We've also got this Quetta Gladiators team, which has been in absolutely magnificent form. And uh, they've had some star performances. We've seen some great performances from Mohammad Nawaz. Slapped away, and it's smashed. Oh, he spanked us off the bat for into the crowd. Right through it. Nawaz with his third wicket, the left arm spinner really turning it on. And goes high and handsome. Middle of the bat, got all the way. That's more like it. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, cracker up a shot. No! Lahore Kalandas. Yes, we are all ready for the all important toss. Uh, Kalandas captain is here and uh, Safraz representing the gladiators. Safraz, you have the coin? Let's go. Tail is the call. It's come down as a head. So, gladiators, you've won the toss. What have you decided to do? We're fielding. Fielding first. You always tend to do that, Safraz. Is uh, there a I mean, if you have a good team, you don't need to change anything. And this is the second time that you have a new factor, so that's why. Giant killing, Masha'Allah, it's a very important match. Close match, it's a great morale, it's a great confidence in the team. I mean, it's a great match, 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 it's a great match. So I think it's a good boost, and Inshallah, it's a great match, it's a great match. What do you do with international team? What do you do with the good team in this team to lead this team? लेकिन अच्छा ये है कि सबसे अच्छी आपकी बॉन्डिंग जो है तमाम लड़कों से अच्छी होनी चाहिए अल्लाह का शुक्र है जितने भी लड़के हैं हमारी टीम में क्या ओवर सीज़न हो क्या जितने भी लड़के हो उन सबसे बॉन्डिंग बहुत अच्छी है और टीम का माहौल बहुत अच्छा है तो आई थिंक जिसकी वजह से रिजल्ट भी अच्छा आ रहा है आप बहुत अच्छा खेल रहे हैं एंड ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू राइट अजय यू नो दैट यूल बी बैटिंग फर्स्ट ऑन दिस ट्रैक वॉट टोटल डू हैव इन माइंड I think it's uh, always difficult to, uh, you know, know the total. But I think uh, 140, uh, you know, 140, 150 is a very total which you, you can, uh, you know, uh, have a fight on. And the breaking news: Chris Gale is not playing, is he? Yeah, he's resting this game. Any particular reason is he fit? Yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, resting his back a little bit. All right. Okay. Now you've got to win this because there are a lot of people back home that want Kalandas to do well. Any kind of pressure we're we talking about here? Yeah, it's no, it's uh, you know, you, uh, this is a very important game, uh, definitely. But uh, you know, uh, this is a game of cricket. We have to enjoy that. Obviously, pressure is always there, but you know, you have to enjoy the pressure sometime to perform better. Have a good one. Thank you. Right then, uh, the news from the centre out here at the toss is that uh, the uh, gladiators have won the toss and elected to bowl first. Um, so we've got Lahore Kalandas, Azhar Ali, Cam Cameron Delport, Mohammad Rizwan, Navid Yasin. He obviously seems to be uh, the new addition in the side, and then Quetta Gladiators, pretty much the same. Well, uh, you know, up front, I'm, I'm just looking at Lahore and thinking, well, how do they score these runs? You know, Azra Ali, Cameron Delport, I, I, I tell you what, I rate him. He's a South African, he's a young guy. I rate him really highly, and at some point, I think he'll come good for them. I think he's outstanding. But uh, Kevin Cooper's got to play a role, you know, in the Lahore. This is a do or die game for Lahore Gladiators. Uh, uh, um, Colanders. They've got to a point now. You lose another one, suddenly, you know, you, you lose another one after that, and then you're gone. So, you know, they're playing the champion team. Welcome to the Dubai International Square Stadium. Lahore Colanders versus Quetta Gladiators today. They won the toss and um, they've elected to bowl. Ahmed Shahzad, terrific form. Kevin Peterson, Luke Wright. Chikun Bura, Sarfraz Ahmed, Muhammad Nabi, Anwar Ali, Zulfikar Babur, Akbar Rahman and the Muhammad Nawaz to look out for. The left arm spinner, he's been absolutely brilliant. Omar Gur will make up the 11. Omar. News is, no Chris Gale. Telport with open with Azhar Ali, Muhammad Rizwan, Naveed Yasin is in, Dwayne Bravo, Omar Akmal, Hamad Azam, Zoeb Khan, Kevin Cooper comes back, Ajanta Mendes and Zafar Gohar. Three wins on the trot. I think one more, and they'll be probably a short of a side in the playoff. Azar Ali, he's going to lead 
Lord Colunders, and he's going to leave the batting side as well. And batting first generally has been a, a kind of a problem for the batting side. Down the wicket, hits it well, and maximum. Fantastic response from Azhar Ali. I think that's a better option because uh, you get to the pitch of the ball quite easily and against a medium pacer, I think it's a 100% it's guaranteed result that you'll get because it's not going to threaten you with a short pitch ball. So you can come down and be aggressive against him. And that really was muscle. That really was a, a very brave shot because he had an uneasy beginning to his innings. We'll know how Zulfikar operates. Off the back foot, a little short in length and a beautiful shot by Azhar Ali. Threw mid-wicket for a boundary. Yeah, short in length and uh, the ball was not spinning and uh, Azhar Ali's balance was uh, flawless. We're just uh, going back and uh, hitting it so s sweetly and smoothly. Past the man at mid-on. Doesn't give you the impression that he's a rookie, that he's uh, just starting over. Come down the wicket, a good hit, straight back over. Delport just using his feet to good effect. Yeah, it's a good one. Everything so right about that drive, the footwork, the execution, the balance. Yeah, pushing himself into that drive and finding the gap. The ball not spinning a lot. Yeah, got to the pitch and that was uh, why it was such a good shot. He just falls from one area. Goes wider of the stumps. Oh, almost a wicket. That is slashed hard and it's a new ball that will find the fence. But creating a chance once again and almost holding out at point the striker. It was Azhar Ali. Made room and just managed to get it over point. Nobody in the deep. In the power play. So Azhar Ali deciding he has to Take the left armor on. Couple of boundaries off that over. The fifth, 29 without loss. No Chris Gale in the side tonight. Oh, he's missed it. Keepers missed that. He's gone for four. Keep an eye on the umpire. Oh, it's runs. It's runs. It's not by. So the uh, the keeper, Safras, can uh, thank his lucky stars. Inside edge. This could be a little defining moment right here. It wasn't a big deflection. Had it just knocked him on the pad, it would have been an easy stumping. They've got out of jail. Maybe they'll take it on from here. That's a poor shot. It's really the choice of the shot is poor. There's no, the percentages are poor. I just think if he works a few things out, Cameron Delport, he could be in for the long haul. But he gets a little impetuous with his thinking. Yeah, nerdle it around, get a couple of little singles here and there. When the bad ball comes, then lash into it. Four for no wicket, here's Zulfika. Oh, Cameron Delport with a reverse sweep. Oh, he's hit that well. He has hit that very well for four. Way, way, four, another one. Lovely, lovely, powerful shot. It was the right place to play the shot. The goal is on now in the attack for the Quetta Gladiators. Fraction short, but that hurried on to him a little bit. Kevin Peterson, the fielder, bowled like a magician against New Zealand. Not that I've seen a magician bowl. That has been cracked. Whoa, he's hit that hard. Too short from Umar Goal. He's better when he pitches it up. Well, he gets a lot of wickets with a short ball, and we've seen it throughout the tournament, but he's bowling to a South African here. And as you know, they grow up playing fast bowling and short bowling as well. 
You're right there. If there's an Achilles heel for South African top order batsmen, it's spin bowling. If it's short from Umar, it'll go. Better. Prefer the full length from Umar Gul. 55% um, of Pakistan is watching it, as we know. Um, I think every game that is played back home will be a packed house. Yeah. So um, we'd love to take it back. Uh, we, we're waiting for things to further improve. And uh, the intention is definitely to pull, start pulling a few matches back first, and then eventually the whole tournament. Right. Um, looking at this venue and then uh, going to Sharjah, obviously there is historic imp importance attached with Sharjah. Your initial thoughts of how this has shaped up here in the UAE? Well, uh, the first two days in terms of crowd turnout were, were absolutely great. And I see a lot of crowd involvement here. So um, that has been great. On the other hand, uh, if you look at the quality of play, uh, we want to be one of the top leagues in, uh, in the world. So our focus is to be right up there with the Big Bash and IPL. And that's what we're focusing on. I think we're moving towards that. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for padding up for HBL PSL. It's been great working with you as its ambassador and being here. I mean, it's it, it's absolutely great fun. And, and thanks for, for having us on board. And thank you for working so hard and putting up a great show. Thank you, Ramiz. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ramiz. Thanks very much. Meanwhile, the score moves on 56. And he'll get a single there as well. So 57 is the score after nine overs. Just watch this delivery. Pulled away nicely. All the way for four. Oh, it's raining boundaries from Delport's bat. Quetta have got to learn. The Gladiators bowlers, it's the short, fast stuff that he deals with best. If it's spin he struggles if it's short and fast he profits he's strong on that short ball on the pull on the hook Four. short again lofted aerial route two men out there and got Akpo Rehman takes a good catch tumbling catch and again it's a short ball from Umar Gol that has brought him a wicket he is persisting with a short ball. He's got the man. Yes, the uppercut didn't quite work. Azarali goes for 20. It's 62 for one. Again, it's that short ball. And Azarali tried to get under it almost like a cutlass to cut the ball up in the air. And there we are. A moment of triumph for Uma Gull. Yeah, that's the shot he wanted to play. Delport goes and goes well over mid-wicket, and that'll bounce away for another boundary. He's finding some good touch here tonight. Timely form from Delport, and he's used his feet well. This time bisecting deep mid-wicket and long on. But the intensity in coming down the track, helping him play the spinners. Also hitting with the spin, which is uh, definitely the way to go. There is turn on this surface, as we've already seen. Again, has he got enough of it? He certainly has, and that'll be another four. Pressure on Barber. And he's bowled a full toss. Normally, doesn't err in his length. But this time, because of the pressure, he's tried to fire it in. Full, full bugger, and it's hit. Again, placed well, almost a maximum, but Delport will take that. Quite a way forward. Another one, what a shot from Cameron Delport. That's gone a long way back. He's arrived, he's come to the party. Use of the feet once again, perfect. Advancing down the track and he's nailed it. 87 meters and he's dropped as well oh he's hit that sweetly as well another boundary he's on a run here certainly turning it on 
This time using the length and placed it magnificently well. Advancing down the track, had the ability to stop himself and use the length through mid-wicket. This is a terrific innings. Now moved to 60, just off 45 deliveries. It's both of them, so it's a critical match for him. Oh, a bit of luck. A ledge past the keeper, and that'll run away for four. Runs flowing. It's not your day today, Nawaz. And Omar Akmal coming down the track, beaten in the flight. Went for that cut shot. A little edge, and it's raced away. Very difficult for Safraz. Maybe that's the luck that Kalanda needed. A little bit quicker. Oh, a nice touch around the corner. The wig. Oh, what a shot. Has he got enough? It's gone very, very high, and it's gone very, very far indeed. Brings up to 100, and what a way to do that. Omar Akmal, he joins the party. A fantastic hit on top of the bounce, using the pace that Omar Gold provides and hits him straight back. Knew it was six the moment he hit it. the amazing thing with this with these modern day bats i don't think he's middled that i think that's just off center and because of the size of the bats that players use these days you can afford to just slightly get it out of the middle and it still carries they could be in for a share of 100,000. That's beaten mid-wicket. They'll pick up at least two here. This partnership continues to grow. Moves to 45. Oh, another good shot down the ground. That's another six for Mal. Wonderful striking. Well, if he hadn't middled the last one, this one, a flat six, 87 metres, brings up the 50 partnership as well. It was a slow one from Omar Akma, from Omar Gul. Slow one and Omar Akmal flat and 87 meters. That's a strong hit. You're right. That last one was out of the middle. This one went very high. Still six. And look at that whack. You don't want to. Pulls a bit of leg spin. Oh, he's got that. He's got that very nicely indeed. And is that a catch? No, they've missed it. But Omar Akmal, he's not missed that. It was short and was so quickly back into his crease. That absolutely smoked this. That's gone the distance. Good running. So quick, isn't he? Um. And again, that's gone further. Two sixes in the over. Nobody's learning. Neither the bowler nor the crowd. They've dropped it again in the crowd. And it was well short again by Akbar Rahman. Really short. Omar Akmal all the time in the world and he smashed that. Easy pickings for him. Another drop catch. Another great shot too, just quietly. Oh, beautifully played. Showing some real class here tonight is Umar Akmal. 18 coming off that over. 15 gone, it's 136 for one. Right now, the Yorker length. A bit of negative stuff would uh, take care of the situation as far as the gladiators are concerned. At least that is what they're thinking. 
It's a straight hit. He's not even looking to uh, run for that one. It's straight as an arrow. It's a six and a 50 for Umar Akmal. He's played a blistering innings, a blinder, a magnificent innings. The fastest 50 of this uh, HBL PSL. Have a look at this one. Straight and big. He is always promised to deliver. Umar Akmal and to the frustration of many thousands of Pakistani uh, cricket fans, he hasn't always lived up to delivering that promise. But when he does, he's as good as anyone in the world. When he's a five star. Oh, uh, that was a fierce straight drive. And uh, Nabi, well, he's looking to catch it. I think he was lucky really not to get hit. This really was banged hard straight at him. Yeah, he hits the ball ferociously hard, Cameron Delport. And that was half survival, half protecting the umpire as well. Yeah, sorry, says Cameron, but got to hit that ball. Yeah. That's right, and another mighty one. It's raining sixes here in Dubai. 150 is raised, plenty of sixes, plenty of action, and it's 150 for one. Uh, they're off to a flyer 150 for one 16 with four to go port knows oh he's hit that hard into the stands into those blue seats and umar akmal has gone straight into overdrive and his half century comes a big his strike rate is 250 and this is the record score for HBL PSL this year. The previous highest one, 153, 156 and counting. Umar Akmal has hit a purple patch. Appeal and yes, the finger is raised, trying the reverse flick. And he's hit him in front of the stumps. It was a quicker one from the left armor. It's a good result for uh, some consistent bowling in this over. At least he was put away for a six. And, uh, well, seven runs and a wicket. And a valuable one. Delport gone after hitting 73 of just 55 balls. Entertaining stuff. 157 for the loss of two now. Seven overs. 95 and seven. Was it hitting the stumps? Yeah. That was fuller length. And he looked ungainly. He's, uh, he's been timing the ball so sweetly, but uh, decided to play a, a, a very difficult shot. I would go so far as to say an unnecessary shot, given how strong he is when he's hitting straight back over the bowler, long off, long on. He's timed the ball magically well. Now, that's another example of how good he has been in this innings. He's picked up anything short. He's picked up anything full. And so you've got to be so good bowling uh, at him because he's put away the rubbish like that. Disdainfully. So that's been one hell of a knock. Yeah, and, and Quetta have not learned tonight. They've bowled short. Oh, another mighty blow. It's an incredible innings. Umar Gul can't believe it because that was the attempted Yorker that went horribly wrong. It was a juicy full toss, but had to be put away. Yeah, there's, he's creating that sense of amazement in the dugout because this was classy. Now, these are big blows, and uh, Umar Gul is feeling right now that he's been punched in the stomach. Well, the Pepsi catcher Croy catch a six in the stands. You can stand a share of a hundred thousand dollars from Pepsi. 
Oh, it's another blistering straight drive. Well, what a knock he's playing. Unbelievable shot making from Umar Akmal. Well, he's broken a lot of records and he holds a lot of records. But Umar Akmal has now hit seven sixes in this innings. That's four, the straight drive. But it's the first time he's ever hit seven sixes in one T20 innings. Marvellous batting. And he's just 25 years of age. Such rich talent. Oh, it's another one, just like the other one. Umar Akma is, uh, is playing one heck of an in innings. Unstoppable. On a mission to decimate the opposition. He's hit eight sixes, once again, moving back deep into the crease and lifting it over Squirrelek for another gigantic hit. Five fours and eight sixes. And all big ones. Well, oh. To top it all, the best stats, eight sixes in this innings of 86. 58 runs straight down the field from Umar Akmal. Easily down into the gap. He's batting like this. The Sir Vivian Richards of the Gladiators, I'm sure he'd be loving it, Vivian, because this is uh, Viv Richards' type of a knock. You won't be loving this, Rambo, because it's against his team. But this is the highest class batting from Umar Akmo. And even the full-length balls are getting whipped leg side for four. It's astonishingly good batting. Now... Two shots here, <laughs> and Umar Akmal could equal that because he's got 91 from 38. Can he hit a six and a four? Or two sixes? Certainly can. That's gone up in the air. This should clear the field. Oh, that's well stopped. That really is well done. Just flicking it back into play, and uh, so two runs taken. So a six here. Oh, it was in the slot. That's not been timed and it's taken in the deep Akbar Rahman takes a good one and Umar Akmal's show is, is, uh, has ended but not before he's lit up the entire field with his muscle innings this really is outstanding from Umar Akmal I've never seen him ever bat like this he was flawless outstanding you can use any adjectives to describe this wonderful innings 93 from just 40 balls a champion's knock well, this was the end of a fabulous innings. And Kevin Peterson ran 50 yards to congratulate Umar Akmal to shake his hand on an astonishingly good knock. Kevin Peterson's got to do the same when he comes in because this is one heck of a total. One ball to go, 193 for three. Right then, last ball of the innings. Bravo is on strike. It's a good delivery following him. And Barali has bowled uh, a good last ball of the innings. But, uh, well, it was a lot of fun watching Umar Akmal decimate the opposition with his breathtaking innings. Here for once, didn't get it in the middle of the bat. But uh, he played a great innings. Really was great in, in T20 terms. KP just acknowledging the fact that he he was outstanding out there at the crease of Marakma. He was brilliant. The last 10 overs yielding 132 runs. It was an onslaught. The score 194 for three. A very impressive innings from him. Delport and Umarakmal were involved in a massive partnership and the massacre took place. Umar Akmal uh, was instrumental in that uh, decimation, 93 from 40. Great partnership, Umar Delport, 95 from 43 balls.
some of the bowlers here won't like to look at these figures. And uh, Umagul, one of them as well. He went for 50. But it's the biggest total we've had. And uh, the Quetta Gladiators will need 195 in 20 overs to win this match. And the Cullenders, of course, looking to win their first match of the HBL PSL. It's going to be one heck of a chase. Just love seeing our pictures coming to you via a wonderful spy cam. Look it spins around the ground from the height. And uh, able to give you such wonderful pictures. Look at this. Beautiful. And drags back and gives you an overview, gets in close. Oh, lovely to see. Did he get an edge? Did he get an edge? Let's not be harsh on the keeper quite yet. Was there a little bit inside edge? There's a stumping chance. He's yoked himself and it's a pretty regulation stumping chance for this one. He's missed Nawaz. I tell you, I can't help but seeing how late he picks his bat up and you vary the pace on him he's going to really battle he's going to be feeling rushed now there's a lot of talk about kevin peterson his ability to play left arm spin and i think he's just saying well let me show you something i'm going to entertain you i faced two balls and I got 10. Easy as you like. Hits it through the line. Doesn't strain a muscle. And it's gone 80 meters down the distance. Just two balls and two boundaries. That a maximum. Going down the leg side. No doubt about that in my mind. Bravo back into the attack, so recognizing that a bit of experience is required. But uh, none so far from the under 19 from the A League. Sure. And this could well be out. He's not going to learn from that too much, and it is, so the big wicket is gone. Kevin Peterson has been taken in the outfield by Cooper. And the celebrations be begin. Dwayne Bravo almost uh, hit the fence with that sprint. KP was uh, found wanting. He couldn't get it over the fence. Yeah, a, a big miscue, and he's gone after scoring only 12. 37 for three. We're standing out of the crease, and uh, well, found Kevon Cooper there. Sa safe pair of hands, and he was off. As was Dwayne Bravo. Have a look at him. He's gone to Dubai Mall. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. And the Kalandas fans are once again rejoicing. We had uh, to wait for, uh, well, about a week now. Of thought. Loose delivery. That'll be four. It's a nice way to get off the mark. Six overs gone, 42 for three. Speaking of touch, that's got a bit of touch over the square leg boundary for six and a much needed one. 50 is raised as a result of that uh, booming six. He's a very good batsman, a dangerous batsman. The truck is in, trucking away. Batting with a grim face, the uh, gladiator skipper, he knows that uh, his job has just begun. But he's off to a very good start. 11 from 3. 4 and a 6. Oh, there's a half a look there. And yes, square leg umpire is going to take that upstairs. He wants to have a closer look. 
And maybe that back foot just slid out as he's looking to sweep that to the leg side. Well, it's not a no ball, but uh, when he was attempting that sweep, was the back leg or a back uh, boot up in the air when the stumps were broken? You can't really get a, a good view from this angle. He's sliding it back, 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 and I think he's, he's probably in. May have one spike in. And you see the keeper, he's taken that. He's taken that so far back. He's retreated, so his balance, in a way, is going backwards. It's not out, but because the keeper has gone back and lost his balance over the top of his toes and then the classics in in the shape of uh, Mahela Jayawardena and then Kumar Sangakkara Kumar the Rolls Royce of batting isn't he Sangakkara he's going to be joining the tournament shortly oh beautifully struck lifted over cover off the back foot well, this kid is, is progressing really well. He, he's bowled superbly in this HBL PSL, and, uh, well, he needs to uh, now get going with the bat because he's, he's had uh, his chances at the domestic level with the bat, and he's been very impressive. Got in 180 in a 50-over game recently. He's on 14 from 17. Oh, dear, dear, dear. This should have been the end of him. Frustration for Mendes. Yeah, the keeper obviously didn't pick him. Neither did the batsman. <laughs> well, the previous ball was the off spinner, and this one is the one that he flicks out from the front of the hand, which just spins in towards the left-hander. Some clever bowling from Mendes. Swept very, very hard indeed, and that'll be a boundary, so rubbing salt into the wound. Yeah, he's a mighty good player when it comes to playing the sweep shot. It's Serfraz has bludgeoned it, really, out of his sight because it was a quicker one and uh, bent low and a beautiful sweep shot. Well, that's a great example, Hat. Oh, beautifully struck, and that'll go one bounce for four. Navas with a good shot. All he has to do is to occupy the crease now because he's looked just a little bit fidgety at times. But uh, this shot had more control. Catch was the call, obviously. He didn't have the fielder there. Can't have him everywhere. He just needs to get his length a little bit further up. If he's going to bowl that back of a length, it's really bowling into the left-hander's strength, and that is hitting through that leg side. So just a discussion on getting that feel absolutely right. There's three back on the leg side. There's a deep square leg. It's very square, a deep mid-wicket, a traditional deep mid-wicket, and a deep mid-on. Well, that's beautifully played. What a square drive that is. Yeah, wonderful batting. A pull followed by a scintillating, sweetly timed square drive. I think he obviously was looking for a Yorker. It was ball wide, push wide, and uh, the balance was great. Slicing it into the fence. High bat lift. And, uh, well, the execution was perfect. Good call. Good early call. Good running. Oh, wonderful strike. Another boundary. Great angles being created here. He's played a pull shot, then a square drive, and then a cover drive. And all punched with a lot of power.
High, nice back lift. Once again, Hamad Azam trying the Yorker length and uh, bowling the wrong length, the fuller length, and penalised. Well, Hamad knows that if he gets it slightly wrong, he's going to pay the penalty. He's been hit for boundaries on both sides of the field. And that's a good sign when you've got a young player that has the ability to find the boundary whether it be square on the offside or straight on the offside or pick you off through the leg side. He's got... Oh, dear. Have a look at that. Get him in the side. Six, and it brings up the 50 partnership. Thank you very much. 20 off the over, 10 gone. It's 89 for three. I love it. Maneuvering himself and almost gets that gap. Brilliant feeling. Omar Akmal does a fantastic job. Fantastic batting from both Nawaz and Sarfraz. Well, Lahore, when they batted, and it was largely thanks to Umar Akmal, of course, they scored 132 in the last 10 overs. He was wanting there. Kevin Cooper did everything. Oh, nicely played. He's threaded it through that gap. Backward of square. Boundary for Nawaz, brings up to 100. Just past point, and Nawaz needed that in this over, and he's made a little bit of room, but he's angled it just past point. Just a little bit of width and a full length on offer from Kevon Cooper. Goes over mid-wicket and does it well. Fantastic hitting. Two bounces into the fence. Oi, hoi, four to end the 12th over. 108 for three. He's enhancing his reputation here. It was nice bowling that straight and quick. Nawaz batted exceptionally well. Bowled brilliantly this too. <laughs> Bit of high play, he stops. Oh, stopping chance and well bowled. Well done, Zoheb. Look at that for a celebration. Big wicket. Full and outside off, Sarfraz misses. A good stumping this time by Rizwan. And is that the wicket that wins Kalanda the game? A huge wicket. Sarfraz out. Stumped Rizwan. Bold Zohib for 31 of just 19. Fourth wicket down at Nelson. Fast bowler likes hitting the stumps. A slow bowler likes beating the bat. Beautifully bowled. Drew him out of the crease. Bowled it wide and Sarfraz... He's out in deep water. Look at those eyeballs. There you go. Nawaz just swinging away. I think he's very difficult to pick, and I suspect that Nawaz didn't pick that one either. Another good delivery. So, just another single. First four balls and yeah, he wasn't picking him. Ajanta Mendes gets his man. He's a difficult customer. Unorthodox finger spinner. Nawaz played a little gem, but he has to depart. Stopped Rizwan. Scored a good 42 of just 34. Gladiators now. Five down for 118. He's done it to many, many batsmen across the world he's just deceived them bamboozled them out she goes Noaz and miles at sea and this has got a full box of tricks seven and here's one 
Opportunity to catch and well done. Omar Akmal it is. He doesn't drop many. Floor it up by Zafa Gohar. And Nabi Oblige is just hitting him straight back down the ground where Omar Akmal does the rest. And Gladiators now really struggling. Nabi goes for six. It's 122 for six. Well, he had to go for it, had to go for something. You see the left arm ball, the left arm spinner tossing it up. Umar Akmo may as well give him the man of the match award right now. And for Mendes, he's not easy to get away. But obviously in cricket, we've got it here. Out, got him. Mendes has got another wicket. Well, the last rights being administered, yeah. Just a slow walk from Akbar. Elton Chikabura gone for three. Just looking to lift it over cover. He's getting a thick edge. And Nazar taking quite a simple catch at point. Mendes strikes, gets his second. With nearly 16 and over required. Well, if I lose it from here, fire the lot. Outside edge, in the air, gone again. Another one taken. And Zafa Guy takes the catch. A little left-handed, he's a left-arm bowler, so it's quite easy. Mendes gets another one. And uh, out he goes. Tried hard, Anwali, gone for three or three. 129 for eight. I think that's gone. Oh, it's a wide. Surely they're going to refer it. Yeah, I think we're having a look upstairs. Square leg umpire has signaled to the third umpire that he needs to have another look at it. It's a very, very wide delivery. Yep, it's the cool and cool decision pending and a cool and cool decision says yeah that's legal oh, is his bat in the air that's the question what are you thinking at home is his bat in the hair in the air and i'll tell you what, what my guess it is yep he's gone for lahore that's another cool and cool decision that should be gone well you never know let's have a look you see he got his bat down then lifted up again didn't he tom on the stumps light up there you go well cool and cool you're out So a good bit of keeping work. He had to fetch that from a long way wide of off stump. He manages to get it back onto the stumps. It's 129 for nine. Gave the ball a good rip, so it was turning away. There it is, club down the ground, and he picks out deep mid on, so it's all over. Umar Ghul has looked for the boundary and has only picked out the deep mid on. Umar Akmal. So... Lovely to see. Oh, <laughs> it's nice to see Gull not letting his team down. Boys are all happy. Why wouldn't they be happy? Why would you not be? They've got on the board. It's been tough work. This is how it ended. Yeah, it's just a slap, isn't it? An ugly slap down the ground. Didn't quite get hold of it. A simple catch for Mark Akmal. He's completed a very good evening for him. Taken a few catches. He's scored a beautiful 90. And disappointment for the Gladiators.
a joy for the Colunders who've just now got their first win of the tournament. They lost their first two, so an important win for them. It's the batting card. It's a sorry sight. Some guys getting in on the top. Noah's just the top scorer at 42 and Ahmed at 31, but it fell away terribly. 11 extras in there, 131. And the bowlers, they all did well. No better than Goha. Safa Goha got four. And Ajantha Mend is the other spinner getting three. So this is how it ended. Lahore Colanders win by 63 runs.